Albert Einstein once said, The most beautiful gift of nature is that it gives one pleasure to look around and try to comprehend what we see. Indeed, from the depths of the oceans to the heights of the mountains, from the flowery fields to the lush forests, from everyday butterflies to elegant snow leopards to endangered tapirs, nature is the key to our aesthetic, intellectual, cognitive and spiritual satisfaction. However, the greed and depravity of mankind threatens this very treasure that we possess. Despite all of this, we can still care for nature through science. But how? We should practice environmental-friendly etiquette from the moment we wake up. The first things we do is to take a shower or brush our teeth. Have you ever noticed the amount of water that goes to waste unused? Currently, only 0.5% of the Earth's water is available fresh water. According to Professor Sovakul from Denmark, there will not be enough fresh water available to meet global energy needs by 2040. Hence, reducing our water consumption will also reduce the infrastructure and cost needed to process it, thus reducing both our water and carbon footprint. Spending less time in the shower, turning off the water when shaving, brushing teeth or soaping can save water. Also, installing a low-flow shower head can help decrease home water consumption by 40% or more. Save thy water, care for nature. Look around, nature is all around us. Caring for nature starts from the little things. You know what to do, but do you practice it? Carpooling along the route to school or work is beneficial to the environment. In fact, by reducing the number of vehicles on the road, greenhouse emissions and non-renewable energies like fuel consumption will also be significantly reduced, thus aiding in improving overall air quality and paths to transition over to renewable energy-powered automobiles. Who say nature can't bloom in school? Using eco-friendly containers can educate students about the importance of a plastic-free campus. Science syllabuses should inspire students' interest in green technology and renewable energy. Education is promoting the mindset of caring for nature through science. Nature is our home to which it concerns us all. Science is humanity's last pillar of hope in deterring our fate towards a non-habitable earth. Together, let us use technology to appreciate the wonders of the world. Together, let us use innovations to restore nature and reverse all the damages done to it. Together, let us care for nature through science, step by step, generation after generation. We can do this. If not us, who? If not now, when? Thank you.